You can append metadata to your software users with Kioth user variables. After the login, we'll put Kioth app dot set var to either create or update an existing user variable. And so the first one's going to be the variable name. So I'm going to do discord. And then the second one will just be like the discord ID. And then this is also an example of how you would print it out. So it's created a user variable named discord and it's set this value to it. If we change the value of the data a little bit, the next time you ran it, it would update the user variable to this new value. If you want to make a user variable that cannot be set by the program, you can go into the dashboard and you can set a variable. And you can put in the exact user and then the variable name and then the data. And then you want to check read only. Now if we add this error checking code, we can see that it will not allow us to set the user variable. User variables can be deleted by going into edit. Then select the user variable and click delete to bear. You could have it do things like collect the discord ID of the user running your software without any user intervention. You could do this officially with a discord RPC library. This is completely allowed by Discord, and Discord created this functionality themselves. So you would do e.user.id, capitalize id. A Discord ID is the best way to identify a user regardless of whether they change their Discord tag. It will always give you their latest Discord tag. Hopefully you found this helpful and you can create unlimited user variables per user. This is different than other services that only allow one. I do recommend though that if you're getting the variable repeatedly you should add a sleep function in between like 10 seconds or whatever as there are app wide rate limits and you don't want to get the entire app rate limited and then nobody can use the program so i'd recommend like 10 seconds you know five if you really need to but 10 is probably ideal thank you for watching have a good day